Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you how you can prepare a single view for printing and also how you can create a plan compilation with several views and then also prepare it for printing. Generally there are different methods how we can print a few. If we only have to print a single view, for example a single 2D view or single section view, we only print this single view. If we have different views which should get printed together, for example a 2D view and a section view, we create a plan compilation. In the first part of this video tutorial I will show you now how we can prepare a single view for printing. After that we will create a plan compilation out of several views. We have already opened a project created with Catvilla and we will prepare the current view, the ground floor, as a single view for printing. One of the most important infos before we start is that everything what we can see in the 2D view also gets printed. That's why it's important to hide or to delete all unwanted objects before we start. That's why we deselect the guidelines, we don't want them to be visible in the final print. And that's why we also deselect the section icons and the section texts in the next step, because we don't want them to be visible. Therefore we make a right mouse click select visibility and here in the visibilities we deselect the section text and the section icons. After it we confirm with OK. All unwanted elements we don't want to have in our print are now hidden. In the next step we will define a sheet frame and a title block for the current view. Therefore we make a left mouse click on ground floor, right mouse click and new layer. We enter a name for the layer, in our example sheet frame and we confirm with OK. The new layer was successfully created and before we add the sheet frame and the title block, we will control the scale. Therefore, we make a right mouse click and we select Properties. Here we can see that the scale is 1 to 100 and we confirm with OK. Now we select the catalog, we click on 2D and we select here the folder Sheet Frame. Here in this folder we can find sheet frames for all usual DIN formats. Behind the format you can see the scale. In our example we select DIN A3 1 to 100 because our view is also defined in a scale of 1 to 100. We select the sheet frame with a left mouse click, press and hold the left mouse button and we drag it into our 2D view. Now we can place the sheet frame with a left mouse click and after it we press escape. After the sheet frame we add the title block, therefore we go back to our catalog and we select the folder title block. Before we add a title block we press position 1 or home for the function show all to have a good overview and now we select the desired title block with a left mouse click, in our example this one, and we drag it again into our 2D view. Now we press CTRL and W to change the reference point. This is the correct reference point and we place the title block in this edge. After it we press escape. Our work on the sheet frame is done and in the next step we will also add some labeling to our floor plan. Therefore we select 2D and layout 
text and labeling. We position the labeling for example here and now we enter the text for example ground floor. Now we added the text properties. We select for example fat and we select link to scale. We enter for example 1 meter and after it we confirm with OK. We press escape. Now we select the text again, press the shortcut R for move with reference point. This is the reference point and we move the text to this position. We press escape again. If you want to print this project, we recommend you the video tutorial how to print and edit the print settings. You can find it on catvilla.com slash support slash en slash. Also, we recommend you the video tutorial how to change the angle of the north arrow to proper position the north arrow in your project. This was the first part of this video tutorial about printing a single view. In the next part of the video tutorial we will work on a plan compilation. For every view which we want to display on our plan compilation, we have to create an own view at the point views. In our example, we need one more 2D view for the basement. Therefore, we click on New 2D view. The 2D view opened and we zoom a bit into the view. Now we deactivate all floors except the basement. Also the environment and very important the sheet frame of the basement. We don't need the sheet frame in the plan compilation. After it we press position 1 or home for the function show all. And the 2D view of the basement is now finished defined. Finally we name the 2D view. Therefore we select the 2D view with a left mouse click, right mouse button and rename. We enter a name in our example basement. And after it we confirm with enter. In the next step we will also deactivate the sheet frame in the other views. Therefore we select for example the ground floor and we deactivate the sheet frame. We also check the top floor. Here the sheet frame is already deactivated and we go back to the basement. Now we start with the plan compilation. Therefore we select 2D and layout and we click on New Plan View. The properties open and at the point name we enter for example Plan Compilation. Afterwards we select Page Properties and at ISO Formats we select the correct ISO format. In our example, for example, ISO A0 landscape. After it we confirm with OK. The plan compilation was successfully created and gets displayed as a separate view. Now we continue by adding our existing views to the plan compilation. Therefore we select insert existing view as plan part. We select here for example the ground floor and we confirm with OK. The ground floor view is now attached to our cursor and we can place it for example here with a left mouse click. We select the view with a left mouse click and by dragging we can change the size of the view. After it we position the floor plan. For left-right we use the combination shift and mouse wheel 
and for up and down we use Shift plus CTRL and the mouse wheel. After it we make the frame a little bit smaller and we change again the position of the floor plan. Now we make a right mouse click and we select properties. We click on Plan Parts 2D and here we can see that the scale of the ground floor which we added to our plan compilation is 1 to 100. Maybe you remember some minutes ago when we created the plan compilation that we did not change the scale for the plan compilation of 1 to 50. This is not necessary because the scales of the views inside a plan compilation can be defined independent from the compilation's scale. We press OK and after it we press Escape to end the selection. Next we add the basement to our compilation, we select the basement and we confirm with OK. We place the basement for example here, we maximize the view and we can see now that the floor plan of the basement is displayed in a different scale than the floor plan of the ground floor. We press the right mouse button, we select properties, we click on plan parts 2D and we can see here that the scale is defined with 1 to 50. We click on other and enter 1 to 100, same as for the ground floor. We confirm with OK. Both views have the same scaling now and we can position the basement. Because the work process is always the same and we don't want to make a too long video tutorial, we will make a fast forward on creating the other views. We successfully added the rest of the views to our plan compilation. There is only one 3D view we still have to add and that's what we're gonna do in the next step. Therefore we press CTRL and we select the 3D view. Next we will save the 3D view as a picture and add it to our plan compilation. Now we select File and save view as picture. We select user defined and for the width we enter for example 500 pixels. Maintain aspect ratio stays selected that the picture gets not saved distorted. And now we select ray trace, we click on the settings, we select for anti-aliasing strong anti-aliasing and we confirm with OK. Now we select a file path where we save the picture. First we enter a name for the picture, for example rendering 3D view. Now we select the place where we save the pictures. We have chosen for example my samples and after it we confirm with OK and OK. The picture renders now and will be saved automatically. The rendering process finished and we switch to the plan compilation. Now we add our picture. We select 2D in layout and insert bitmap. We select rectangle. Now we select our rendering and we confirm with OK. We enter the rendering with the help of the rectangle. We press escape and if we want to change the proportions of the picture afterwards we select it again. We select one of the violet dots and we reposition the frame. Afterwards we press escape again. If we want to reposition the whole picture we select it one more time, press the shortcut R for the function move with reference point. We select the reference point for example this point 
and we move it to its new position. We press again Escape. In the next step we will label the floor plans to the left hand side. Therefore we select 2D in layout, text and labeling. We position the first labeling for example here. Now we enter a name, in our example basement. We confirm with OK. We press escape, select the text again, press the shortcut R for the function move with reference point. This is the reference point and we move it a little bit to the left. Now we make a right mouse click properties. We select the text properties and we enter for the size for example 0.5 meters. We confirm with OK. Now we press again the shortcut R for move with reference point and we move the text a bit to the right. Now we copy the text with the key combination CTRL and C and we paste the text with CTRL and V. We position the text for example here. We enter the text properties. We change the name to ground floor and confirm again with OK. We move the labeling a bit to the left. And now we do the same thing with the top floor above. The labeling is done and in the final step of this video tutorial we will add a sheet frame and a title block to our plan compilation. Therefore we select the catalog. We select the folder Sheet Frame and we select the sheet frame DIN A0 1 to 50. Scale 1 to 50 because we have chosen for our plan compilation a scale of 1 to 50. We select the sheet frame and drag it into our 2D view. We change the reference point with the shortcut CTRL and W. That's the correct reference point and we place the sheet frame on the edge. After it we press Escape. Now we select the title block. We click on the folder title block. We select our title block and drag it into our 2D view. We change the reference point with CTRL and W, that's the correct reference point and we place the title block here. We press Escape. Our plan compilation is now finished defined and we can print it. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, visit our website catvilla.com.